Welcome to Daytime. I'm Cindy Edwards. We have got a great show ahead, including beauty fixes, energy boosters, and Esquire's Sexiest Woman Alive. But first, we are talking romance and celebrating Valentine's Day with a fabulous getaway. Casey Wall is here to tell us about some wonderful places to visit with your loved one, and you too are a sexy woman. Oh, well, thank you. You <laughs> as well. Who travels the globe? <laughs> you just got back from London. I did. London and Dublin. Oh, what fun. Amazing. Okay, yes. but we're not talking about those no. places. We're talking about romantic getaways. That's right. Valentine's Day is coming up. Yes. So it's time to start thinking romance. Let's do something that the, you'll remember for the rest of your life. That's right. And one of my picks for romantic getaways is Cumberland Island, Georgia. Oh. It's, yeah. I mean, what's more romantic than your own island? That's nice. Yeah, very nice. But it's actually off the southern tip of Georgia. You have to go there by private ferry. Mm. Um, not a lot of cars. It's actually a national park and protected area, so there's not a lot of development. In the 19th century, the Carnegies used this as a vacation spot. Hey, if it's good so, enough for the Carnegies, it's good enough for us. Exactly. Horses. But, yeah, they built this amazing mansion there, uh -huh. which has been converted to an inn. And if it sounds familiar, it's because that's where JFK Jr. got married. Oh, that's where that was. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, again, if it's good enough for JFK Jr., I think it's, it's good enough for us. But yes. you go by private ferry. You arrive on the white sandy beaches that are beautiful, wild horses roaming the island, amazing oaks, canopies. There's something for everyone, you know, no matter what you want to do, fishing, kayaking, or just enjoy the natural scenery. It's absolutely beautiful. You have to take out a second mortgage to go? Or? It's not that bad. No. I mean, you know, we're not all JFK Jr. No. So, <laughs> yeah. And Grayfield, no, Grayfield has some great deals right now, so definitely check that out. You say go to Aspen. Aspen, Colorado, and what's more romantic than the snow and the mountains? Very beautiful, charming mountain town. Um, a lot of people think it's for the rich and famous during the winter, mm -hmm. but it's actually very affordable for everyone, and it's great any time of the year. I mean, they're known for their ski resorts, but it's great to go in the springtime. There's wildflowers growing in the alpine meadows. Mm. Um, the maroon bells are great for hiking. You can sightsee beautiful panoramic amazing views to enjoy with your loved one. And then of course, hiking, everything that you want to do, rafting, everything Golf. in Aspen. Yeah. yeah, and nothing more romantic than cozying up by the nice fire. That's right. right. Virginia is for lovers, right? As I said, for 42 years, Virginia is for lovers, and there's a reason for that. They have something there for everyone. They have amazing hot springs that you can enjoy, mm. soothe the mind, body, and spirit. They have 160 wineries, and oh. what's more romantic than a winery? Look at that. Oh, how <laughs> nice. They look like they're having a good time. Absolutely beautiful. Um, horse farms that are picturesque, 3,000 miles of coastline on the beach, so you can do all the beach stuff too. Wow. Really, something for everyone. And Virginia is very, very pretty and very easy to get to for yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, easily accessible, which yeah. we like, and you can just rent a car and just explore. Exactly. Um, now, our uh, our senior producer, Deanna, was, was in Greece recently, and she said it was very romantic, and you say go. She did. She did. She gave me the lowdown on Greece. Um, the Greek Isles are amazing, and if watching Mamma Mia with Meryl Streep didn't convince you, <laughs> I don't know what will, but it's actually 6,000 islands and only 227 are actually inhabited. But of those 227, only 78 have more than 100 inhabitants. Oh. So it's amazing to go do a sailing trip. You know, you can do island hopping, very romantic, very picturesque. And two of my picks, Santorini is a beautiful place to go. It actually witnessed a volcanic eruption 3,500 years ago. So it has this incredible caldera in the middle of the sea there. So mm. picture the turquoise waters, oh. the white architecture on the cliffside, just beautiful. And then if you're looking for a little bit more like nightlife and party, Mykonos is the place to go. That's where all the jet setters are. So. Okay, Mykonos when you're partying, Santorini when you want to relax. Exactly. And do you recommend, I guess you can do it in a week, right? That's long enough? You can. To get there, get your feet wet, experience the culture, and then get back and not be too wiped out? Definitely. You can do it in a week. Okay. She said it. She is the author of The Girls and Getaway Guides. Casey Wall, thank you. Happy travels to you. Where thank are you off you. to next? Um, L.A. and then Berlin. Oh, my gosh. Can't <laughs> wait to hear about that. Thanks, Casey. Thank you. Sammy, over to you.